guys and welcome to Waratah League TV, brought to you by Moulton. The week off has done the clubs a world of good. The competition is at a more elite level with teams going back and forth in a very fast paced environment. Let's kick start it with the championship men. It was Bankstown's lucky weekend leading into the Easter break with two games back to back on their home floor. They hosted the Sydney Comets and the Sutherland Sharks. Unfortunately for Bankstown, they went down to the Comets in what was a very high scoring affair, 100 to 80. It was again the dominance of competition favourite Indiana Faithful as he got the Comets over the line with 23 points. Bankstown stepped it up their next game and blitzed the Sharks, sending them packing all the way back to Sutherland with a 95 to 66 scoreline. Captain Courageous Steve Markovic put the home fans in raptures as he put 35 points on the board and nine assists. The North Sydney Bears had the opposite end of the draw card as they had a hard battle in front of them on the road to some of the competition's hardest teams. First up, they had the derby against Manly, and it wasn't the outcome they would have liked going down 99 to 88. Hornsby is smiling from ear to ear, and what makes the Spiders' success even more impressive is that their roster isn't as big as some of the other squads. In what was a more improved performance by the Bears, they went down 75 to 69. Hills have always been a team that fights until the very end, and their double header started with a game away to Central Coast that was no different as they beat a team struggling to find any sort of success. Hills won this match 96 to 75, largely thanks to Gore and Veg's 23 points. Hills had the tough assignment of beating the front runners of this competition, Hornsby, but they went down 79 to 75. Darcy Emery, six from eight from field goal range, was enough to seal the deal for the Spiders. Newcastle's form has been nothing short of disappointing, winning two matches to start the season. Playing at home against Sutherland, who were dangling at the bottom of the ladder, was the exact game they needed to get some consistency going. Dane Suttle used the cookie jar technique to full effect as he marked marched on to 16 points. Maitland are the surprise packets this season. They just keep getting better and better. Currently in second position, the Mustangs took the drive down south to blow the Illawarra Hawks away, winning 90 to 56. Whilst in the championship women, Bankstown are living dangerously on the edge of the top four, but their confidence will be boosted knowing they can get the job done without Casey Samuels. Isha Coulter was the queen of the court, helping herself to 11 points and helping the Bruins defeat the Sydney Comets 71 to 51. A double header for the Seagulls took them to their happy place for both encounters. They lost to the Bears 80 to 65, largely thanks to Callie Hoverter's 24 points and Bree Delaney's hot shooting, where she hit six threes on her way to 23 points. They were luckier the second time around, where they made the Hawks fly back to Illawarra with a 69 to 40 victory. Aaron Todd had 24 points and 14 rebounds in the effort. Hornsby ventured out to Hills, where they took care of business, recording an 80. 82 to 51 victory. The Spiders are looking more and more dangerous as the weeks go on. Christina Rowe and Dani Moore had the hot hands combining for 36 points. Sutherland are loving where they are placed at the moment in third position. A trip to Newcastle with a scoreline that read 71 to 66 was enough for them to defeat the Hunters, fading away to the Division 1 men's. The Saints were able to pick up the rare double over the weekend after a rough start to the season for the 2016 Grand Finalists. On Saturday, they were able to get on top of the Canberra Gunners at home. Darnell Brown proving to be the point of difference with 17 points. Whilst on Sunday, they were able to make light work of the Yowies, 104 to 64. The Saints starting five and then some hitting double digits. The Lifco Lasers Brownie. took the roar nice. out of the Shoalhaven nice, Tigers, making it their first loss of the season. The Oslin Trio putting in the work, but couldn't compete with the Lasers' triple threat in Marjoram, Fenton and Flynn. Addison Flynn, five from the three-point line. The Hills Hornets showed who's boss in their local derby against the Hornsby Spiders. A 51-point margin will give the Hornets a well-deserved confidence boost, especially to Brett Goodaham with his 25 points and four threes. While in remaining matches, the Bruins' trip up north proved successful. Luke Davies a standout in that one, with the Razorbacks getting an upset victory over the Crusaders. Manly continued their dominance within the league, with Sutherland, Dubbo, Tamworth, and Wagga picking up the W. Transitioning to the Division 1 women, the Shoalhaven Tigers were able to just get over the line against last year's grand finalists, the Bathurst Gold Miners. A late foul in the dying stages of the match allowed Kate Bellamy to put the Tigers in front. In a low scoring affair, the Thunderbolts were able to pick up a road win. Posting up to the Division 1 Youth League men, a cross town battle that went down to the wire. The Sydney Comets winning an absolute showstopper of a match. William Dave O'Hickey putting the Comets over the line 
line and proving instrumental in the battle alongside Femi Panzuris and Zach Tosic. While the Bruins were able to cut their losses and back it up on Sunday, getting a win over the Sutherland Sharks at home. In another tight contest, with 40 seconds on the clock, Manly's Adam Fawcett from outside the arc was able to lock up the score at 74 points apiece. North's regained possession with Reggie Ridlin at helm, drawing the foul to put the Bears in front and take the two points. The Bears then making it a perfect weekend, defeating the Storm at home despite the Cooch Malucha's 46 points. In a grand final rematch, the Waves were able to still prove they've still got it, defeating the Hornets on the road. While in remaining matches, the Crusaders, Mustangs and the Panthers were able to get the W. From one basket to the other, the Division I Youth League women. In a weekend of shock losses, the Crusaders dropped their first game of the season, going down to the Hawks at the Snake Pit. Ellery Morris leading the charge for the Hawks with 18 points. While in another upset, the North Sydney Bears were able to take the flight out of the Sea Eagles. Faith Bolgan proving to be instrumental, the Sea Eagles going on defeating the Hawks on Sunday. In the local derby, the Hills Hornets just weren't able to hold on going down to the Spiders in a close one. The rest of the weekend, Bankstown get an upset victory over the Panthers with Sutherland picking up double. Dunking all over the Division 2 Youth League men, the Newcastle Hunters have made it a perfect 5 from 5 after defeating the Spiders at home. Jacob Doricott and Samir Singh leveling up on 19 points. While another side still undefeated within the Division 2 comp is the Moss Fail Magic who made light work of the Scorchers on the road. St George have swung back into their winning ways down in the singles at home. The Stains starting 5 plus a few extras hitting double digits. With Illawarra, the Razorbacks and the Comets rounding out the weekend with wins. Thanks to our good friends at Moulton, it's time to see who our nominations are for this week. From the championship men, Goran Vegg from the Hills Hornets and from the youth league men, Adam Fawcett from the Manly Sea Eagles. And from the championship women, Callie Hovitar and from the youth league women, Faith Bolgan from the Manly Sea Eagles. Congratulations to Lachlan Hutchinson from the Sutherland Sharks and Alessandro Gasparotto. Thanks to your votes are the MVP round four winners. Another week off from basketball action. Make sure to get your chocolate dosage in. From everyone here at Basketball New South Wales, happy Easter, enjoy the weekend.